What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Around the Track. This is where we check out all the hot new things going on within the coast community. Today, we're really gonna be checking out, honestly, Project 305, if it's running or not. I've been hearing a lot of it's running and then it goes down. Uh, apparently, like a couple weeks ago, it actually got stuck at like the top. The motor might have went out, so it has been having a couple issues towards the end of the season. Honestly, that's no surprise though, because this is pretty much its farewell. We only have one more week of operation, at least for regular season, and then it's gonna go into Winterfest. Today is October 27th, 2024. And uh, I don't know why I said it like that. 2024. And today it's actually 530 right now. The sun is about to set. So I want to go ahead and get a couple shots of Raptera as well as Project 305. Uh, get my last couple of rides on this thing. And honestly, I'm just going to chill at the park. My day off, I'm just chilling. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Y'all see the fit. I really like this shirt. Turns out this shirt was like $150. It's like one of those Adidas jerseys for like football, soccer for America. But yeah, I really like it. I found it at Ross for the low. It was literally like 22 bucks and I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. But I will talk to you guys in the park. So really quick, I actually skipped a week of updates because I went on October 20th, which was a Sunday and Project 305 was closed. There was no update for Raptor because there literally was nothing new. Day before I went to the park, uh, it actually got stuck at the top and they ended up having to shut down the ride. They even had to get the fire department and everything. I found out about all this on Reddit and then when I went to park on Sunday, I was like, oh crap, the ride's closed. And then I went to Reddit like that same day and that's when I found out about everything. They've gotten a lot of land flattened and filled in and it looks great. It tells me that testing should be starting really soon i don't know if they may get it before the end of this season before winterfest or not but it would be really cool if they were able to get the trains on it like right at that last weekend before the uh before they close for the season before winterfest that'd be really cool that other little shed where the launch is i imagine that's for the launch uh, that's almost completed as well and the station it looks like it was pretty much done it looked like they were working on part of the old volcano station uh, that might be for the queue what I've been told that second level actually won't be no longer in use and they're gonna probably end up just scrapping that or getting rid of that part and you'll be going through the bottom part so like the old you'll be going through the bottom where like the old station was at for Volcano. I slid over by Reptilian uh, just to check out what was going on on that side. There was more flattened land. Like I said, I imagine testing, I would hope to see this thing testing really soon. So that's all I can say on that one. I wouldn't be surprised if they had like their first test run either maybe in like the first week of November or hopefully even by the end of October. But Seeing as how we're on our last days of October, I don't know if that may happen. I went over by Flight of Fear to get a better look at the entire layout of the ride, as well as to look at the uh, launch shed and the station. The station looks to be pretty much completed now for the outside. They're mainly working on the interior, obviously the wiring, the queue line, and everything else. Now, for Project 305, or the new name that got leaked literally the same day while I was there at the park, Kings Dominion accidentally leaked the name for the ride, which is Pantherian. Why, out of all the names, I thought they were gonna call it like a tiger or something. I would have taken Blackout, Iron Tiger, Steel Tiger, Eye of the Tiger, something better than Pantherian. One, it sounds too much like Pantheon in my opinion. I will say the color is gonna look great though. Those big supports that you're seeing are gonna be painted orange and the rest of them are gonna be black. So as you can see, they pretty much had like 85% of the uh, supports painted at this point. So they were only missing a couple of them. Other than that though, I got some great rides on it. It was nice to get some of my last rides on this coaster. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I will have a lot of extra clips. I'm gonna have some bonus clips after I finish the narration for this video. But uh, until next time, peace out. They have gotten pretty much all the black supports if you look at it here. 